All right, hello Maddie. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. We're going to go through some tasks today to see um, and hear your thinking mathematically. Know that there are a lot of them, but it's not a goal to get through all of them. We're, we just want you to do your best and we'll see how far we can get, okay? Okay. Awesome. So let's get started with the first one. How many counters are there? Eight. And how'd you come up with eight? Uh, four, because I, first I saw four, and then I counted the other four. So four plus four. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. Hold out your hands for me. Uh, here are three counters. Six counters. Close them for me. How many counters do you have all together? Nine. And tell me your thinking about how you come up with nine. Well, I know I counted by threes. Three, six, nine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Here are nine counters. Here are seven counters. How many counters do we have all together? Um, sixteen. And how'd you come up with that? Well, I know nine is one away from ten, so then I'd minus one from the seven. Can you say more about that? How we come up with sixteen? Well, the well, if you take one from seven. It'll make this 10, and then it will make that a 6, and then you just put it together. <laughs> I wrote the wrong thing, didn't I? Yeah. Thank you. There are five cups in each row. There are six rows of cups. How many cups are there all together? Thirty. And how'd you come up with thirty? Because I know um, five times six is thirty and you could... Um, well, if you do... Yeah, I just know five times six is so five times six is something you know? Yeah, That's yeah. good. Thank you. <laughs> you can use the counters for this. There are 20 counters total. You have 20 jelly beans that you could represent with counters if you need to. Each quarter of the cake should have the same number of jelly beans on it. How many jelly beans go on each quarter of the cake? Um, um, five. You talk to me about how you thought about five as an answer. Well, I know that quarters, when you split a circle into quarters, that you had four pieces to split it equally and then I know four times five is twenty. All right, thank you. Change his name to Tim. Tim had 57 model dinosaurs. He gives 25 to his cousin Alice. How many does he have left? Um, 
32. How'd you come up with 32? Well, I just took 57 and 25, and then I took the 2 from the 5, and then that's 3, and then the 5 from the 7, and that's 2. Malcolm has 24 clothespins. He uses two clothespins to hang out each piece of clothing. How many pieces of clothing can he hang out? Um, wait, 24 pieces. Um, two divided by... Two divided by... Take your time. Hmm. Oh, 12. <laughs> can you say more about that for me? How'd you, what did you think about? Well, um, you can hang 12 pieces of clothes because it's 2 divided by into 12. No, 24 divided into 12 is 2 or something like that. <laughs> like something like that. <laughs> Something with division? Yeah. Help me think about, or help me understand what you were thinking. Um, well, 2 times 12 is 24. So, um, oh goodness. I have no idea. I just know. It's okay. That's good. I think you got it. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Alex and his friends ate 12 slices of pizza. Each slice was one quarter of a pizza. How many pizzas did they eat? Do you want to think about it a little more? Mm. Let me read it one more time for you just to see. Alex and his friends ate 12 slices of pizza. Each slice was one quarter of a pizza. How many pizzas did they eat? Okay, one quarter. I know this, but I can't think of it right now. Um. Take your time. And if you'd like to move on, we can. Can we just move on? Sure. I know it, but That's I just okay. can't think of it. That's good. Jody has some pens. She was given another 26 pens, and she now has 86 altogether. How many pens did she have in the beginning? Okay, so... Um, hold on, I, I know, okay. I need to read this again. You already had some pens. She was good with that. Okay, so minus 26 from 86, so... Okay, so 66. She had 66. And how did you come up with 66? Well, I took 86 and minus 26 away, because then that's how many she had before. Could you say more about 86 minus 26 for me? How would you do that? Well, I know how to, like, count it. I counted by twos, and then if you minus two from... Um, 86, 8, minus 2 from 8, then that's 
six, six, and then you minus. You just keep six because it's the same number. And then wait. Doesn't have 66. 60? I'm confusing mm. myself. It's okay. So what are you thinking right now? Well, I minus two from eight from eight, but then I never minus six from six. Okay. And so you want to revise your thinking? Yeah. And to what? Um sixty. Okay. Thank you. Zach has eight packs of drink. Each pack has six cans. How many cans does he have all together? 48. And how'd you come up with 48? Because there's a saying, six and eight went on a date and they came back with 48. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for that, Maddie. Ruka picks six boxes of raspberry in 18 minutes. How long does Ruka take? Three boxes? Nine. And say more about you come up with nine. Well, half of 18 is nine, and half of six is three, and it's asking three for three boxes. Okay, thank you. Hannah got an iPod with some songs on it. He downloaded another 148 songs, and he now has 176 songs in total. How many songs were on his iPod when he first got it? Okay, so... Minus 148 for 176. Um, y minus minus zero. Thirty-two. Okay, can you say how you got thirty-two for me? Well, I minus one hundred forty-eight from one hundred seventy-six, and I minus one from one at x zero. 4 from 7, and that makes 3, and 8 from 6, and that makes 2. Wait. No. <laughs> 8 from 6. Okay, you can't minus 8 from 6. Um. Okay, I'm confused now. Okay. You want to think about it more, or you want to move on? Move on, because I don't there are 40 small squares in the chocolate block under the wrapping. Can you say how you come up with that? Um, because 4 times 10 is 40, and I see 4 across the top, so then that means it has to be 10 down. Okay, and how many rows are hidden under the wrapping? Oh, just under it? Um, 8. Rows of 4. Thank you. I was thinking on the whole block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that one's kind of tricky. Honey uses 32 carrots to fill four bags. How many carrots does he need to fill 12 bags? Oh, goodness. He 
to fill 12. Gosh, I need a pencil to do this. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Wait, um, well, I could split them into the little drive and I need 12 more. So if you had a pencil, what math would you do? Um, divide. Can you say more about that? Well, I would draw groups, like 12 bags. And then, and then I would do like, mm, I'm confusing myself again. It's okay. Because that's how many carrots does it need. She uses 32 carrots to fill all bags. I would draw, yeah, I would draw groups like bags and then I'd draw 32, oh goodness, I have no idea. Thank you, and I think we'll go ahead and stop there. Thanks, Maddie.